So today there's a Nintendo Direct, and yes, we'll have trailers and news and all that stuff hitting this channel later today that deals specifically with what we've learned in that Nintendo Direct, and we might even have a reaction to it tonight where I gather some people together and we just talk about uh, what happened. But before all of that, I kind of want to go into some predictions for the event. Now, this is not like E3 or the Nintendo Switch event back in January, uh, where we did a whole preview show for it and gave our kind of laid out our expectations and what we're excited for, what we're not excited for uh, when it came to Switch and you know our our E3 expectations. Like we will have an E3 pre-show this year as well, live stream for all you guys. Uh, this is different because this is one of their smaller directs that's probably going to have a lot of key information in it, and. We know for sure that the Direct is going to address Nintendo Switch and 3DS in terms of games because it says that in the description. And we also know that two of the biggest games being focused on are Splatoon 2 and ARMS. Now, obviously, it's easy to say we're going to see new modes for both games. We're going to see uh, new abilities, new items, new this and that. That's I think that's a given. Um, but I've been reading a lot of... Uh, expectations. You know, IGM put up, you know, what to expect from this Direct. Nintendo Life put up what to expect from this Nintendo Direct. And as I'm going through all these different editorials out there, a lot of them are saying, you know, don't expect Nintendo to talk about online features. And that's the first thing I want to hit on is I actually expect Nintendo to talk about online features. Why? Well, because two of the games being focused on are online multiplayer games. Yes, ARMS has been confirmed to be playable online against other people. Splatoon 2 is literally an online shooter. So it's going to be really weird to have a Direct where those are the two primary games in that Nintendo Direct and not talk about online features. Now, do I think they're going to talk about all online features? No. I, I don't think voice chat's going to be talked about. I don't think uh, you know any, anything that requires... That subscription fee they're going to have at the end of the year is going to be talked about. But I do think they are going to talk about, uh, you know, when their online platform is going to launch. Which you assume uh, it would launch alongside Mario Kart 8. Because, like, Mario Kart 8 is online. But I, I Mario Kart 8, I think, is an outlier. Because if you look at how Mario Kart 8's online, especially Mario Kart 8 Deluxe online works in the recent trailers, it looks a lot like it did on Wii U. So I, I think that game's going to work outside of Nintendo's normal online thing. In fact, it might even be using the Wii U servers to create matchmaking in the first place. Um, not necessarily to connect with Wii U, you know, gamers, but to uh, to not be part of the Switch's whole ecosystem for online games. At least not now. They might release a patch in the future that changes that. But because it still uses Mii characters and all this stuff. And if you know on Nintendo Switch, me is really taking a back seat. So... Yeah, I, I don't think that Mario Kart 8 is going to be affected by anything that Nintendo is doing with their online. However, ARMS and Splatoon 2 most definitely are Switch-exclusive games that are going to take advantage of Nintendo's new online network that hasn't launched yet and is supposed to launch this summer. Uh, the thing is, ARMS launches this spring. So... I feel like aspects of that online system are going to come out even sooner, and it's just the phone app for their online services will not arrive until summer. Uh, now, I don't expect Nintendo to go into heavy details about the phone app, um, which will probably launch, I'm assuming, alongside Splatoon 2. But I do think they're going to talk about some of the online functionality of these games and how it works in Nintendo's online ecosystem. So I do think we're going to hear about Nintendo's online ecosystem. And so I, I don't think we're going to hear about things that are exclusive to the app, but we are going to hear about, um, you know, how the online functionality is going to work on Switch, which is good because we don't really know. We haven't had any game that really does that. And as I said, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe seems to be just kind of mirroring what it did on Wii U. So I don't know that that's really a good way to gauge what the Switch is going to do in the future for matchmaking. Now, it is possible we do hear some about the app. Because they might announce today that the phone app that will have voice chat and all that stuff that will be available for free for a limited time will come out with Splatoon 2, as I said before. Um, I could see them announcing that. I, I don't know if they're going to, but I also think it depends on when they are planning to launch Splatoon. I think if Splatoon is meant to launch in June, which I guess would make sense, uh, 
then they could very well even announce a launch date today for Splatoon 2 and announce that the app's coming out that day. So essentially a launch date for their online services. And I, I think that is something that they very well will do today. Uh, and I say that because I think ARMS is coming out next month. And because I said spring, next month's really the last month of spring. June's the beginning of the summer, and that's when I think Splatoon 2 is going to hit. Uh, the question is obviously, what's after Splatoon 2? What's coming in July? What's coming in August? And while we have games announced like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we don't have any concrete release dates, and we'll hear about those titles, I think, at a separate event, like E3. I think they're just going to kind of ride arms in Splatoon 2 on Switch for the next couple months. Now... That gets into another prediction I have, is that I don't think they're going to talk about any other Nintendo Switch game but ARMS and Splatoon 2. And I feel like those two titles are going to take up... I think this is going to be a half-hour direct, so I think the those two titles alone are going to take up 20 to 25 minutes of this Nintendo Direct. The rest of it is going to be spent, I feel like, on the 3DS side, where they're going to talk about games like Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadow of Valencia... Uh, and, you know, whatever other 3DS titles they have in the pipeline that are coming out in the next month or two. Because I feel like this is Nintendo's last time they're going to be speaking to us as consumers, trying to advertise products to us beyond commercials uh, until E3. So whatever they have coming out between now and E3, they're going to talk about today when it comes to 3DS. And it's not going to be spending a ton of time on them, um, but they're going to, you know, give each game a solid minute or two uh, of a feature and then probably like a sizzle reel at some point that maybe has a bunch of, uh, you know, independent games or Nindies coming out on Switch or Wii, or Wii U or 3DS. Sorry, not Wii U. Uh, that's kind of it. I, I, I don't really think, because I think it's going to be really short and really compact, but I think we're going to walk away from this impressed. Uh, now, I did mention earlier that I think Switch and... Uh, the Switch is only going to get Splatoon 2 and ARMS talked about. I do have one caveat to that. I do think at the very end of this Direct, they are going to announce that Mario Kart 8 is coming in a bundle with Switch at the end of the month. And I say that only because right as I'm recording this, it was announced or it was leaked by Nintendo Nintendo's Russian online store that there will be a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle with Switch. Uh, so now with that knowledge in mind... Very clear to me, they're obviously going to announce that today. Uh, and they're going to probably announce it at the very end of the Direct. So I guess three games will get talked about, but I don't think we're going to learn any new information about Mario Kart 8 today uh, outside of the bundle. Um, that's it. That, that's all I expect. I don't expect a whole lot uh, today, unless you're huge far fans of ARMS and Splatoon 2. Because I feel like they're going to give us a lot of information on ARMS and Splatoon 2. Now, obviously, for as general Nintendo fans, the most interesting part will be what they talk about with online functionality. But beyond that, I, I think Splatoon 2 and ARMS are both improve it modes right now, right? Like, Splatoon 2 is going to sell well because Splatoon sold well. And there's a fan base that, that likes Splatoon, bought Switch, they're going to buy the next game. But there's a general feeling out there that Splatoon 2 is really Splatoon 1.5. It's basically the old game with some new weapons and maps. And that's a, a reputation it's going to need to shed. And while you can't ever completely shed the fact that this is a direct sequel, so it's got a lot of similarities... By announcing new and unique modes and enough content that it feels like a whole brand new game, that will do wonders. And I feel like today is what that's what they're going to do today. They're going to really make Splatoon 2 feel like a true sequel in every sense of the word. And then ARMS is kind of one of those games where Nintendo's been a little light on the marketing for it, uh, which is understandable. It, the press, you know, kind of raved about it, but everyone's wondering, you know, is it more than just like this gimmicky Wii boxing kind of thing? And press has told us it is. But, you know, we, everything we've seen video-wise, even advertising-wise, it doesn't look like much. Uh, and, you know, some people are off by the fact, oh, you have to two sets of Joy-Cons. You don't. You don't even have to use motion controls. But we haven't seen it without motion controls. So I think today will be a perfect time for Nintendo to show everything this game, up, game is about. Show that it is just as in-depth as other fighting games out there. Like... I wouldn't even mind if they aimed this game rather than Splatoon 2 at competitive gaming because it's a fighting game. 
I, I feel like fighting games work very, very well in a competitive gaming scene. So I would like to see Nintendo take that angle, show off why, show how complex it can be, and also finally show us what the game is like without motion controls. Show someone playing it with the Joy-Cons in the grip or with a Pro Controller, or even, God forbid, they could somehow pull it off with the Joy-Con sideways like you can with Mario Kart, and show us how the game plays with buttons and joysticks. Uh, that's something that really, really interests me to find out how it works. And, uh, I feel like today is it. Today's the prove it day for those two games. Now, as I said, Splatoon 2 is probably going to have some sales regardless of what happens today. ARMS really needs to hit on what Splatoon hit on many years ago, where Splatoon, just every time it was shown, it looked better and better and better and better. And every time it got played by press, the reviews were raving. And right now, press, think ARMS is, is solid. Now we need ARMS to start to get into that it's impressing us mode where we can see how this is an evolution on fighting games or a new take in the fighting genre. So again, not a lot I expect today, but there is a lot of important things that should be happening in this direct, especially with ARMS and Splatoon 2 and the Switch's online functionality. Uh, what I want to know is your predictions down below. Obviously, this video loses relevance in a few hours, but hey, I don't care <laughs> because we're here to talk about Nintendo. So, yeah, this is Nintendo Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch you guys later for a reaction. Nintendo Switch, baby.